It's a landmark American musical. It's an international hit, and it's back at one of New York's best-known venues. In Pix 11's partnership with the Broadway Channel, Tamsa Fidel has our report tonight on the Roundabout Theater's revival of Cabaret. It was New York's hottest club in the 70s and 80s, and now it's Broadway's hottest club, too. Welcome to Broadway Studio 54. Cabaret opened Thursday night, so leave your troubles behind and coats outside because inside it is so hot. <laughs> Right this way, your table's waiting at Studio 54, where Roundabout Theater's revival of Cabaret is back. Alan Cumming is once again the master of ceremonies at the sordid Kit Kat Club. It's the same role that won him the Tony more than 15 years ago. Set in the 1930s as the Nazis rise to power, it's a new day at the Kit Kat Club, thanks to Hollywood heavyweight director Sam Mendez reuniting with choreographer Rob Marshall, bringing their vision of the international hit musical back to life. And then there's three-time Oscar nominee Michelle Williams and her Broadway debut, playing Sally Bowles, a British performer at the Kit Kat Club, who has an affair with her rooming house neighbor, a struggling American writer played by Bill Heck. Williams has big shoes to fill. You can tell my papa that's all right, because he comes in here every night. But don't tell mama what you saw. Dame Judi Dench played Sally Bowles in the first London production. And of course, Money makes the world go around, it makes the world go around. Liza Minnelli won an Oscar for Best Actress in the film adaptation, as did her co-star Joel Grey for his portrayal of the MC. In fact, Grey created the Kit Kat Club MC in the very first Broadway production back in 1966. But Alan Cumming has redefined the role in Sam Mendez's vision of the musical. So response to Cabaret at the Studio 54 box office has been overwhelming, so much so the engagement's been extended to January the 4th of next year. I'm Tamsin Fidel, backstage on Broadway.